And yes, before anyone asks, I am, uh, we'll talk about this first before we actually get to our challenges. And that is, um, congratulations to the King of Queens, who has now taken the bronze medal from Stealth G605. So. It's been a crazy two weeks, man. It's been crazy. Yeah, great for my channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's, yeah, look at. I mean, look at that. He, he's, man, he's not letting them get far away, is he? No, he is not. Very much. Which he also took Texas, man. That was, that was a shocker because uh, Texas wasn't an easy one to take. Yeah, yeah. Um, the governor of Texas was a, well, Texas was fairly yeah. cheap. So it might have been that he must have listened to what uh, Manning had said it, that Texas was relatively cheap for its population. Yeah, it it was it was cheap per you know potential badge income, but it was still an expensive state to want to buy. So, I mean, I guess he did the his you know quote unquote like cost benefit analysis and determined it was worth the price of it. But, I am uh, adding roller coin to the queue of my upcoming beer money reviews. So, are you? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. For yeah, I'm mean, doing it for December. I'll go back. I'll go back. I still have an account there. I'll go back. I'll take a look at what it's like now and do a full on review and tell you what my rating is. I have a pretty good idea. Well, honestly, I'm not sure. Well, I, I'm genuinely not yeah. sure. It's it's one of two. It's one of two. Well, where they're at right now, I have no idea. I know where they were when everybody kind of stopped playing, and, and, and you know that <laughs> yeah. should kind of give that answer, right? Yeah. Hey, Windows um, Eleven, how you doing? But I have no idea where it's at this moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So I mean, maybe they got better all of a sudden. Who knows? <laughs> it's uh, possible, I guess. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, as far as I remember, Rollercoin was not the best math-wise. But I, I don't want to spoil uh, what it is. But I will say, like, um, I'm not going to say that it's a straight up red yet because one, as you mm -hmm. said, they could change. Two. Yeah. At any point. I think even as they were, I don't think they were really a red rating. It was close, though. It was a it was a close one. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll let you do the review. I got opinions, but I'll let you do the review. It's yeah, your review. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll have to see at that point. Um, <laughs> I actually depends on how much I got to do. I might have to start now. All right, but that but what we are mainly talking about today is thank you so much. Uh, Thank you so much for the 20 Atlas Bucks. Thank you so much for the 6 Euro. But what we want to talk about today are the monthly challenges. Um, yeah, so the monthly challenges, uh, basically this is kind of their version of the season pass. Uh, Atlas Earth version of the season pass. If you know those in games, like all the games that we've played that have like, oh, if you do a certain amount of tasks, you will go up in experience and those experience will level you up and get a bigger prize. And you go all the way to the ultimate prize at the very bottom. That's basically what these challenges are. So. So, yeah, um, uh, going through the challenges, though, I have two more ads I got to do boost renting on. Oh, well, you got me by I'm the way. Yeah, I'm almost done with mine, actually. I'm just about done. Uh, I still have to do the win fishing match, play fishing match. We got the bowling. We got the two warships. Um, booking travel. I really can't book travel, so uh, I won't be booking any travel for a while. Complete amp missions. I'm trying to save some of these, too, for like the December 2nd 5X rent boost event, which will also be, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to my uh, 20 Atlas Buck a dollar rewards over at Salad Works that day. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I are going on a, are going on a, uh, on a, on a, um, a it's dinner a cheap date. date. <laughs> it's a an amp date. date. It's like 40, <laughs> 40 bucks. Well, it'll be about 40 bucks is what we're going to spend while we're there. So that's uh, eight hundred Atlas bucks. Like <whistles> things are really things. Yeah, are no, really... and plus whatever the rewards are for hitting those levels. Yeah, yeah. Um. So no. Um. We're still waiting on those two boosts. Do I have enough to do two boosts? Let me see. I can do one boost, 
And then by the end of the stream, I can do my other boost. And then we can see what that, uh, what the one under it is. So I'll do that one boost now while we're talking. Um, yeah. You don't really like the season pass, Jeremy? Uh, okay, all of mine are locked behind things I don't or can't do. Yeah, I think the point of this uh, season pass was to try to get people more involved with Atlas Earth. Um, AJ has just dropped. Can everyone hear me okay? You okay, AJ? Hello, test. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Uh, I, I had lost you. <laughs> my my computer decided it wanted to put itself on mute across the board. <laughs> oh, that, that that was not. Yeah, okay. it was really weird. Okay. Uh, so I came out, came back. Uh, I, uh, that was an odd thing. <laughs> uh, Aztec, I don't think we'll be getting 1,400 on the first tasks. Like, surveys are not even working for months now. Oh, wow, a lot of people here. Uh, 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 yeah, so it was to try to get people more involved. Um, international players are going to have a bit of a harder time getting through this, especially early on. Right. They, they've got to have some sort of way to equalize it for the international players, because I agree, this is not fair for them. It's not. I, I, I was, I had thought about lowering, uh, you know, maybe he should have lowered thresholds for international players. Um, so or, or maybe give them another levels on the other missions that are available. I think that's right. the only answer. Well, well, can they do the arcades? It's uh, a good question. Can internet? I think international can do arcade, but they can't do amp or uh, surveys. Might be country dependent as well. Never been able to get the surveys to work. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Wh where are you at, Daniel? You're. What country are you in, Daniel? Are you in the U.S.? Because I know, I know some people that could not get the U.S. surveys to work, and they did work with the uh, support for Atlas Earth, and were able to get them finally fixed. Yeah. So, Black Dice, you're saying that you can do the arcades, but the rewards are really bad. In this scenario, I wouldn't necessarily look about it for getting the rewards from the arcade itself. I'd be looking to get the rewards from the uh, the challenges right so i find the easiest game uh to get through the rewards as possible just so that you can get those tick marks to get the uh, the points on the uh on the challenge side of atlas earth uh it, it's a shame that you're not getting great rewards but uh you know it it, it happens uh so I, I would just have my focus be entirely different um unlike when they do like occasionally they do that like a 50 percent boost where you know, if you complete uh, any stages during the weekend, these are the ones where I'm going for the high value games that I'm trying to get as many points as possible right away. Spend five, six minutes on a one minute survey, just be told that you don't qualify. Yes, surveys are very, 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 very annoying, which is in general why I particularly don't like surveys at all. You can put all this time and effort into them and not get anything. Um, I used to like them a lot, especially when I was playing Queen a ton. Yeah. But even then, I started noticing that I was getting disqualified all the time, despite the fact that they're like, well, we're going to start taking surveys away. You know, we're not <laughs> if you're lying on a survey, we're not going to give you surveys. I'd rather surveys not appear than having to go through the whole thing multiple times over and over again, um, just to say I don't qualify after spending so much time in it. Uh, I I have heard instances, Daniel Smith, when when you uh, you do do the surveys for a long while and then get disqualified. That Atlas Earth has gone in and rewarded you for some of that. So it may be worth going ahead and just saying to the Atlas Earth support, hey, you know, I I, I did this survey. It said it was only going to be like you know six minutes, or it only supposed to be a few minutes. I, I took a long time on it and got disqualified after spending all this time on it. I skip surveys that don't start instantly. Um, that is a strategy. However, if you do that, I think you'll qualify for even less surveys in the future. Uh, it's a, it's a mixed bag. It's unfortunate. Is racer well, easier, harder than warship? Anything a first time player should know. Racer is wow. the easiest uh, of the games. <laughs> we, well, 
Yes, in terms of concepts, it's easy. Uh, how easy it is to play, it's still a little TBD because yeah. they just refactored the way that they're doing it. Yeah. So that's what this afternoon is all about. We're trying to figure out what's changed. Um, and that's what, and they want to see if it's really been fixed. That's why it's only a 30-minute U.S.-based uh, event. They, we're doing like a really big beta on uh, their fix. Right. Uh, let's see. Our trooper boozy said, I keep getting disqualified on a large number of servers as well. Daniel Smith saying he spends, and, and by the way, I do this a lot too, end up spending five or six minutes on a one minute survey and then to be told that you don't qualify. And that is annoying. Oh, annoying. CPX research is, is part of the, what I call survey farms. So the survey farms have a tendency to ask you a bunch of screening questions to make sure that they have the right surveys for you. And then they just keep rejecting you if you don't meet these specific guidelines. And it's so annoying. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't stand it. But CPX Research is the best of those survey farms, in my opinion. I think BitLabs is a little better, but um, they're definitely up there. Like, there are no Samplicio or Wanads or, oh, geez, Samplicio, Samplicious, whatever. They are so bad. Samplicious or Samplicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stay, stay away, stay away. Sam um, is, is awful. CPX is okay. Yeah, there are better and worse ones, uh, but honestly, they're all awful. That's why I stay away from surveys as much as I can. They're all awful. They're, yeah, there's no great ones. I mean, maybe prolific, but you can't do those inside of apps. That, that's their own thing. Yeah, they they require extensive. Those are extensive surveys too. Yep. So, the casual survey, that's not great. Is Premium Path worth it for Canada? Um, TBD, can you do... Uh, you can't do the AMP missions there, right? You can't... How are the surveys looking like there? Uh, without those two, it's nearly impossible. Unless you're doing a lot of the traveling. With the Alice Travel, see, it's the only way to make up for not being able to do uh, the AMP missions or the uh, the surveys. Yeah. All right, so... Uh... Yeah, you got it on Halloween. Yeah, I got it on Halloween just to be too late in their payment cycle so they refunded me not to pay 14.99 which is 23 in canadian oh yeah i yeah i, I got it on halloween too yeah. and i'm just deciding to go december anyway like i was testing it and i was going to tell you all that you have to do it on the before the last day of the previous month uh before uh, otherwise they will not um add you basically so, so yeah they, they want to give that little bit of buffer time uh to to lock everything in yeah basically so um, which is fine for me because I was planning on wanting to just do it in December anyway. I'm not doing it in November. Uh, you probably saw my monthly challenges. Actually, I will activate my phone shortly again. So just give me a second, y'all. I, I I am doing it for this month because I wanted to give it a shot. Yeah. So um, and we'll see. I'll, I'll probably do it. You know, we were talking about this before, but to me, if any month you are planning on doing this December is the month, right? right? For a couple of reasons, right? Did you talk about this yet? I have not. Uh, uh, well, first, I'll answer what uh, AMP is. AMP is a, the Atlas Merchant Program. That's when, if you spend money in stores, uh, you, you know, you you hit the uh, the check in from Atlas Earth, and then you get rewarded back for purchasing uh, from either in you know in store or they have a couple of online merchants too. Um. So December is the month to be doing this for a couple of reasons. First one is, is they are doing an, an AMP special on December 2nd. This is officially announced, December 2nd for Cyber Monday. By the Monday. way, AMP, um, you go to shop, you go to get bucks, and that, sh and that get bucks right there, that is AMP, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, we used to throw terminology around that. I forget not everybody's familiar with it, so sorry about that. Um, so th they are doing a special mission on uh, or a special reward on Cyber Monday where you're going to get uh, its 5x rewards on uh, Atlas Merchant Program uh, participants. So 
there there are some good ones that you can do, and this is what uh, you know uh, Farrah was talking about earlier that he's going to do his salad works uh, lunch or yeah. dinner with his yeah. wife and Auntie Anne's and everything. So you go from like their normal three x to fifteen x uh, rewards. Salad so works is four x to twenty x. You see, that's great, <laughs> and and if you really like Atlas Earth and want some Atlas Earth gear. The normal Atlas Earth online merchant uh, portal is 6x usually. You do this five times that, it's going to be 30x. So every dollar that you spend in um, in uh, the Atlas Earth uh, gear that you buy on their website is going to be you know 30 bucks worth of Atlas bucks. Plus you get whatever the uh, whatever the product is. So the the mug is what 20 bucks US, right? So if you wanted to get that twenty bucks US anyway, you know you're going to get sixty. Or what is it? Uh, Thirty times that's is that six hundred Atlas bucks back. Dang, that's pretty good. Yeah. Plus you get the the mug. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and if you consider that the cost of a hundred Atlas bucks is usually five dollars American, I mean even on the conversions, that's a one to one one dollar to thirty three Atlas bucks. Uh, th- this is pretty close to that. It's only three Atlas bucks off per dollar. Plus, you're getting a product. Forty for you, Jeremy. Wow, forty. No, it's just December second. This is only that. That only happens on December second. The other thing that's happening. Oh, forty. At the oh, end forty of, in Canadian. Okay, I got you. Oh, forty bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't help conversion rates and what the companies do with that. But if you're still going to do it, that's the day to do it. Yeah. The the other thing you want to look at is at the end of the month on December 27th is the once a year 1 to 40 Atlas book conversion event. Yep. That right. One's so really for every $1 that you put in, you get 40 back. And so these are basically two of the, the missions that you have to do on for the challenge. Yep. That bing, bang, boom. December is your month for that. You're going to get reward after reward after reward if you yeah. do this properly. Yeah. I'm actually going to go for the LPU. On 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 uh, LPU is legendary parcel upgrade by the way, on yeah. uh, on December. So I'm actually just saving up yeah. in preparation for that. So it it all depends on how they release the missions, right? Do you do you want to pull up your missions right now for the challenges? Uh, um, sure. So they can see. Sure. And it it really depends on the 10 challenges that are going to be available at a certain time. And this is the part where I think they didn't do really good communication with us. Yeah. We, we knew that there was going to be a whole bunch of different um, missions or challenges available. Right. But they didn't tell us, can you go into view challenges? I'm in view challenge. Um, <laughs> oh, you're uh, It's a little delayed oh, on okay, the, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the delay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's only 10 of them there, right? And so right. we can't. Wow. So I'm telling you all these things in, uh, you know, in a in a happy go lucky world where everything works out the way you want it to. But I can't guarantee that the uh, amp mission is going to be available at the beginning of December. Yeah. Uh, I can't. I can't tell you that. So that 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 I do not like that part. I think we should be able to fill these things out as quickly as we want, as fast as we want. Right. I don't like only having uh, the ability to get to partial amounts of them. But with that said, I'm still reserving judgment because we're only two days into November and I'm just trying it out for the first time, right? Um, From what I've seen with regard to the challenges, I feel like there's, like, I get that there's a lot of um, minigame missions here. But mm-hmm. locking the minigame missions before, like, the minigames are even played it just feels very artificial. It makes it artificially more difficult than it really should be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Th- they should become available as the minigames are coming. Right. right. Uh, which, by the way, if anybody is watching and is not good at minigames, I do live streams of all of them. And I just did one, uh, what is it, two days ago? Yeah. Two days ago with uh, SSC Kelly uh, or Shane, where he's like, I don't know how to do worship. Teach me how to do worship. So I spent the thir- first 30 minutes of the uh, uh, live stream taking him through and showing him the strategy of doing it all. And at the end, he was able to get top 500, you know, fairly easily uh, going through that. And and he was very uncomfortable with that to begin with. So go go check that out. Uh, and, and we're going to be doing that for, for a couple of these other ones where – 
we're just going to walk you through so you guys can be comfortable so you can guys finish these challenges. Yep. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, um, I buy 18 parcels yesterday just because of all big rewards and 33 conversions ratio. Congratulations, Aztec. Hey, man. Uh, where, where are you at, Aztec? Where, where, how many parcels do you have now? Just just for for fun's sake. Our trooper, 40 Atlas Bucks at the end of December. That's amazing. I'll help a lot with my new plans after my Arizona trip next week. Yeah, it's actually like if there's a time to invest, that would be the time to reinvest, I feel like. Um, I did mm -hmm. reinvest $1 this month for November just to get that level one out of the way so I can get a yeah, few I did points. That too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's one dollar. It's whatever. I'm still getting a profit this month, you know. I'm fine with that. 